welcome back to the Christmas vlog. The Christmas vlog, the Christmas vlog. It is Saturday, the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. How is it Christmas Eve already? And yes, I look like a state because I've got a huge fan of cold sore on my lip. Great. So, um, I'm not going to be looking my greatest for Christmas Day, I think, this year. Um, we are trying many a slathering of blistex and compi patches and just trying to save my lip, but I don't think it's going to work. But hey-ho, that means you might get me with a bit more slap on, eh? You might get me with a bit more slap on. Today, you will see bits and bobs, but you won't see a lot because we do a dedicated spend christmas eve with us vlog so we'll be doing that as well that will go up christmas day and then the vlog from last week will go up monday on boxing day because we've got double uploads so i hope you enjoy that but yes the start of this isn't the last vlogmas is it this would finish oh my god guys is this the start of the last vlogmas <gasps> no, hold on a minute. I'm saying like it's Christmas week. Is it the last one? That would finish next Friday. Oh my god, guys, it is the last Vlogmas. Oh no! Well, it's part one of the last Vlogmas. That makes me sad. That has literally just flown by. Oh, can I not be focusing on the uh, cushion? I mean, you probably definitely don't want to focus on me like this. But yes, keeping it real, my lovelies. This is the um, this is the cause of a build up to Christmas. Very run down, busy work, and I mean we're in the crusting stage. That's probably looking really disgusting, but it's not in the weepy stage anymore. We're on the crusty stage. So hopefully, it means it will get better because I can't be dealing with having this on my lip. For the whole time we're off because I want to get loads of filming done. So yes, I do hope you enjoy the uh, part one. So you will see today, you'll see Christmas Day, Boxing Day and then Tuesday. But as I say, Christmas Eve, that will be a full proper vlog on Sunday. It already would have gone up. <coughs> My chest isn't so bad today. Um, Saying that I did have a horrible yak this morning um yak is you know when you're like and it was all this green stuff and i was like but knowing us well if you saw the last vlog you know my doctor's no three weeks for a telephone consultation whatever whatever i will just suffer so yeah i don't want to rub it on because now i need to start an intro for actual christmas eve and we shall see how it goes but yes we're in Christmas week, we're lovely. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. I'm Tesco and I stuck to the essentials. Veg, breakfast bits, more breakfast bits and cheese. And then the meat. I carry 10 kilos of meat for over a mile. Oh my God, I'm, I'm knackered. I'm actually knackered. So uh, yes, I'm going to put all this away. And then I will show you a little sneak peek, because as I say, you will see it all in the Christmas Eve vlog. A little sneak peek of the meat from the hamper, which we share with Dada, so don't think it's all for us. Oh, we've just sorted all the meat out, guys. Just sorted all the meat out. <coughs> <coughs> I'm still, I don't feel too bad, it's just, you know when your cold sore gets to the stage where it's like scabbing, every time you move your lips, it was like it's breaking, don't go breaking my lip, do 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 do, that is how I'm feeling, I have just got all of 
mum and dad's presence in mum's I need to separate to what is hers for her presents and Christmas Eve box Dada's there's a lot more for Dada than I thought so mum's gonna help me wrap his uh, you will see me later wrapping mum's because mum's I always leave till last minute but I thought well I'll make my bed I'll put all my cushions in and then I'm not inclined to lean back on them even though I do need to film wishing you a merry Christmas still leaving it very late but it's only going to be like a 10-15 minute video so fingers crossed it don't take forever in a day to export you know and then I think I'm literally just after the wrapping's done after this I'm going to jump in the bath freshen up then film then wrap and that's it we still didn't pick nothing up for dinner so I don't know what we're going to eat tonight might just starve might just starve I don't know what we're going to eat tonight so um that would be eventful because I don't think any of our local takeaways are open either. Oopsie, but yeah, I'm going to change the tea lights over, light the candles. I might attempt to put some clothes away, maybe, and then we'll have a bath. We'll do the film, and then you'll probably just see me like chilling. And then tonight, me and Mum will do our Christmas Eve boxes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm getting hungry and I'm getting a headache. That probably could be because I'm drinking babies on an empty stomach. So I'm going to have my little feeling super mug. I should have probably just done the soup in the microwave. <sighs> should have done, shouldn't I? Because it is a microwave -able thing, but no. I want a couple of slices of brown bread. Brown bread, trying to be on that health kick already. Hmm. Don't know how that's going to work. But yeah, I actually will have three. We'll have the crust and two. That's fine. Um, do I want butter? No, no butter. That's calories. But yeah, I had a tin of tomato soup. Thank goodness. Proper Heinz. We all know what I'm like with my soup. I do like a nice Heinz soup. So that is uh, cooking away very slowly because can't put it on too high because when it comes on too high the soup then splatters and it goes piddly doesn't it and i don't like a piddly soup so i think i'm gonna eat this i can't get back into bed so i think i might clear my little dressing table and sit there and we can have a little bit of a chat a little bit of a chat and a catch up eh in christmas times
lovelies. It's ten o'clock. Oh, I've just finished editing the Christmas Eve vlog, so that's ready to go tomorrow. Mum is headed off to Zach. She is a Betty Byers. I've got my compete on. Oh, I'm trying to get this lip so weird. I'm a glass of water for the night. And I'm going to hit the sack. I haven't wrapped Mum's presents yet, so that's going to be a Christmas Day morning. Woohoo! And I think the last time last year I done on Christmas Day morning as well. Hoversy! My breathing is still kaput, so. I'm going to snuggle up with my stitch and get some Betty Pies. I'll set my alarm for 7 tomorrow. <sighs> I would have been up too early. But yeah, I've just took my pill, took some paracetamol, I'm going to have a swig of coffee with you before bed. And we shall see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, Santa's coming. No, no, my lovelies. Good morning. My lovelies, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. It is half seven. I've actually been up since half six, but it's taken an hour for my breathing to like sort it shizzle out. And oh my god, you can see the camera strap. How annoying is that? So I thought I'm not filming first thing because this morning I was quite bad. I've still got a bit of the tickle. It's only when I wake up, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's like when I feel the oxygen coming into my thing and the camera strap can you see that along the bottom the camera strap is just not playing stay there so yeah it's half seven i still got mum's presents to wrap i've just looked in she's ko'd so i've got up and sellotape because i thought well i can't do nothing without sellotape and then i will wrap her bits some of her bits are really big so i'll just like bundle them and tell her to close her eyes when she opens them i just took my compede patch off because they say don't pull it but like it started to lift at the bottom and when I pulled it off ill it was drawing the impurities out which is great so I've just slabbered my lips now in the blistics but yes mum telling me she didn't have any festive tissue paper and she dropped it off of the um Christmas Eve box so we've got loads of tissue paper this is um very standard for me Wrapping Christmas Day morning. I think we done it last year as well, didn't we, my lovely? So let's um lay all of our bits out. I have got tags, but I just realised I've sat down and I ain't got a pen. So let me get a pen and then we can actually start wrapping our presents at half seven on Christmas Day morning. <laughs> How's your lip? How's your lip? Uh, all right. Not too bad. Yeah. Santa's been. Ooh. You can go in first. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I got the chair out. I was up and I put the heating on. I was like, it's too cold for this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because oh. this room gets quite hot, doesn't it? Because she's still got her matching PJs on, the yeah, socks, yeah. and the slip slips. I'm going to buy another pair of these in primary. What? I've got my hair in this today. What, the slippers? Yeah, they're only... Uh, Maybe get them in a grey? No, they do them in pink. Oh, okay. But I won't be able to go outside in them. No, I you shouldn't really go outside in them ones, should you? 
Well, so. if it comes to it, and I have to pop out quickly, I'll have the uh, the big Ugg slippers, you know, the copies. Hmm. Right, the lighting is terrible in this room, as you can tell. But I am here. Right, Mum always goes first with her, so what yeah. do you want to go for uh, We'll work our way through. <laughs> This one's mine, all these? Yeah, all of them are yours. Right, thank you. And all the red envelopes. Right, oh, I ain't got the glasses, but don't worry. Do you want the glasses? Uh, no, no. You sure? Yeah. A new one for you to get lost on. <laughs> I think she might need her glasses at the end of this. Oh, so maybe it's good. Oh, my God! <laughs> But you like all the true stories yeah, in that. Yeah, but... That's the lady with bowel cancer, babe. Oh, it's was the, it? Oh, it's Deborah. the bowel cancer, oh, babe, book. How to live when you... Oh, I'll well, be reading... Because you like your Tom Parker, so I was like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. But you didn't pay too much for this. <laughs> no, that's all right. <laughs> so, Mum wants to do a bit this year where she opens one and I open one. Yeah. So, I won't show you all of mine because there will be a what I got for Christmas coming after but as you can tell we've not grown up because we've still got no i used the paper <laughs> frozen paper and mum just says she's forgot to get out some of my main presents so we'll mm -hmm. see because but i'm not going to wrap all them up you bring them in <laughs> mum's obviously got some in gift wrap then for it to be like that oh diffuser Big and mulberry, always handy. This is the thing, mum will get the presents out and then she'll be like, oh, I forgot that, I forgot that. So by the time I finish, she'll be like, hold on. And she'll come through with the rest of them. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to write, oh, this is good. Well, I'll just have to live on cups for <laughs> two weeks, wouldn't I? I've got the advent ones and I've got the other ones. Well, this is quite a good idea, isn't it? Well, I thought 22 more ain't going to hurt. And they're all chocolate ones by the look of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're all Thank chocolate. You. Yeah, because I, I like the trees, don't I? Look. <laughs> Yay! You could probably tell by the wrapping of it, guys. It's another mug. Mm. I'm not going to show you. You'll see in the video. And we've got some makeup. Definitely might be trying these out today to cover this atrocity that is on my lips. When, when I'm uh, when I'm wrapping viewers, I'm not very good, and I try to multitask. <laughs> As yesterday, when I had to meet Dada and give him these bits, I oh. said uh, the wrapping isn't all that good because litland has got everything to, uh, two, three. So, oh, that's all right. So. From the Christmas Eve box. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, you needed to stock up. Uh, okay, which one of yours? A the original. One? The original. Yeah, it's got a glitter necklace. Mm. These other wrong viewers. <laughs> Christmas oak, Christmas without black opium for mum. Nah. Or poison, innit? Yeah, I couldn't get any poison. Thank you. Oh, that's right, that's right. <coughs> and did, did you uh, see the lady who advertises it? That no. nice young lady who's in the sea? Oh, I don't know. One. I don't think it's opium. Oh, I don't know. It might be a new one. That that uh, tall girl, she's uh, she's a pop star lady. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. She goes in the sea and that bird comes down on her hand. No idea. Oh. I don't really watch TV oh. or adverts, do I? <laughs> what? It's, no, because I open mine after, don't oh, I? Right, then. Because I'll do all mine then. Oh, then. You do all of yours. Right. Three pound on wrapping paper, Shannon. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, and another one, viewers, my favourite as well. It's a day to day yeah. one. Not that I'll, get, I'll need to pop any of you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oops. <laughs> Just break yeah. the cabinets. No, no. Oh. 
memory day, day. It's oh, not yeah. money day. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the other one, I've got the pound coins in, and I? But I've still got the little things. Must have a calendar, viewers. <laughs> Must. Like my mum. Did you say you've already bought yourself one? Yeah, but that's all right, because so I can have one for us, and then I have one for That'll Dad's. That'll be our one. Yeah, then one for Dad's bits, when Dad's coming and that. <laughs> my mum always used to have a calendar, viewers. But you always have that long one. I like the flock ones. You don't have the ones with the squares. No, I, I like, you the, like the ones, lists. yeah. No, you can always wrap them. Oh, oh, we're gonna get It matches. It's kind of oh. like a reverse thing. So you've got grey with cream and cream with grey, and they've both got your initial on. Grey with cream. Cream with, with grey. Oh, that. Oh, and you don't even realise it's got the initial yeah, on your yeah. head. <laughs> like, like you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you get that there? What? In P. Yeah, they got it from Primark when I was there the other oh, week. Oh, I was trying and to I get. I couldn't <laughs> see the scarf of yours because we're going to be matching. Well, I bet not wear this for yours because I might get overcome with heat. G for gonk. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's all right. Mum said she'd pick me one of them up and then she was like, oh, I can't get the other set. And I was like, ha ha, I'm thinking I've got you the set. Yeah, I suppose that's when you went out with your friend, weren't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell her a few things when I see her. I was like, well, she's got the set. S is just a popular initial, though, isn't it? Yeah. Glasses. The cup. The coaster. It's hard to get this. But I can't, can't get your name on the thing. Mm. So that's why I had to get daughter. Because you didn't pick a, a classical name. You picked a different name. <laughs> well, I didn't pick the name. Your Maybe did. I'll have to go to Ireland one Christmas and I'll definitely get yeah. everything with no, my name on there. No, because Murph, when he said, oh, he said your daughter, oh, Alice, you must, I said, no. Nah. I said, well, Dad knows the boys. You can wear that today, helping oh, me with Oh, yes. Kitchen. Christmas head chef, you. <coughs> you should have had a sous chef on it, Blue. Oh, no, well, yeah. you could be the head I'll help today. Yeah. I'll assist. Uh, no, I think we'll do it together. <laughs> Oh, I've got a lot of envelopes here. Have you been saying on? Right. There's one from Dad in there. All right. A day out for the two of us with a third leading lady. Oh, yeah, you can open that. Of the day. She's got loads of uh, envelopes. Oh, I hope this ain't a spooky thing. <laughs> as long as it ain't a heights, isn't it? Right. We're going on a ghost walking tour. No, no. Have a great day. I can't see this. <laughs> hang on. Oh, what names? Oh, hang on. Let me read. Oh, you're going to have to read it. <laughs> I'll, I'll try, viewers, without my bins. An experience is a story waiting to be told. I can't see where we're going or what it does. There's got to be a big print here. To see. Oh, hang on. Is it on the back? No, it might be on the. Your story starts. Let me. <laughs> I'll show you the page and you'll have to try and read it. Yeah. So it's on that where it's got Nan's date. It's that oh, page. Oh, right. Okay, then. Right. Be patient with me. <laughs> Get ready. To... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to read this? Part of old age, viewers, part of old age. <laughs> I need to get something. She always forgets something. <laughs> Whether it be the bins or the food. Oh, my dad and um, Nana messaging me. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, you never really see me open my presents Christmas Day because obviously I do the what I got for Christmas. So I don't like to spoil too much. So this is all about mum on here. My hair... I've definitely had a fidgety night's sleep because it's really come out. But I've got my throw on. The heating's on. It's nice and cosy. And my Christmas paper is like frozen Christmas pudding Santa. Still like childish. Oh, she's back. She's back. She's back. She's got her bins. Oh, better. 
Oh, bending over at the camera. Oh, <laughs> Some went at it. Right, here we go. Oh, much better. Get ready to make some new don. Oh, donkey friends with this miniature donkey spoons. Sweet treats and tea for two at the Huckleberry Woods. Located in the heart of the beautiful Kent countryside. The two of you will take two boots. Oh, miniature donkeys for... Well, Oh, oh, bless. She would have loved this, wouldn't she? <laughs> when they're ancient orchard, you'll have plenty of opportunity to stroke the donkeys, feed them, and take photos and ask questions. Don't forget to grab a selfie with the free roaming alpacas and teddy bear sheep. Teddy bear sheep? Yeah. And what could be nicer than tucking into some tea and cake afterwards? With them? Oh, thank you so much. And it's on my mum's birthday, viewers. I had to book that yeah. and they had no availability and I said to the lady, I was like, I need that date. So she's wangled it and oh, we've got in. Thank you so much, Donkey Sanctuary lady. Thank you. I saw that and I'm I was like... I'm not open all these, I'll open another one. Oh, you can open in between or whatever because yeah, yeah. you've got a few. Oh, I saw that and I was like, oh my God, we need to do that. Oh, because Dada's paid for uh, one for me, hasn't he? His one is, it says on the front, I've had to just put mum from dad because I couldn't remember which oh, one it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll have Dad's now then. So Dad's one in his um, card put something to do with ice, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So he's paid for you and me in March to go see Disney on ice. What were you talking now? Yeah, but no, that's not what's in there. Oh, oh. So that's one half of his present. He's bought you a ticket for Disney on ice, oh, like right. me. And this is his other ticket. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, bless him. Right, hang on. Oh, it's so far. Right, read this one. Dine on delicious Asian fusion cuisine at one of the two trendy London restaurants and treat yourself and a friend to eight inches from the chef's menu with a glass of pizza. Eight inches? Oh. Eight dishes. Oh, oh, sorry, viewers. Eight dishes. <laughs> sorry about that. I've got to keep it clean today. All right. Passionate about pizza. So, oh. if you remember earlier on the year, me and mum went to Covent Garden in Ammo. And done like a little um, is this buffet it? thing, but this is an actual taste experience. But at Soho, oh, so right. this will be the other one that we can try, oh, and right. it's a whole different experience as well. The experience takes place at a choice of two locations: Soho and Covent Garden. So we're going to do Soho. Yeah, now. but there's no date on this. No, no, but I think I, I, with these, I've emailed them to try and get stuff booked in. So. When they confirm back to me, I'll let you know. So we sit down and they bring them choice of dishes. So last time where it was like we chose it, yeah. this is like an actual experience. They'll oh, tell right. you, kind of like a sit down dining experience. Oh, right. Oh, that's good. Oh, well but, done. But we done Covent Garden, so I saw that. Yeah, well done, Dad. <laughs> and he was like, what, do, what have I got her? I was like, well, you just got something to do with food. He was like, all right. And then, yeah, Disney on Ice is his other I'm present to you. I'm surprised he didn't say, oh, well, she'll be all right. Oh, um, well, you... Oh, so that's out to No, no, Disney on us, I think, is Wembley. Oh, we've not been there, have we? I've, I've been is Wembley. No, 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 oh. they're, they're from me. They're separate. Oh, right, well, I'm going to... You can have a little detour. Yeah. I didn't wrap that up. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Disney on us. I love in the car, Harry just... I said to Mum, what did you put in the car? She says something to do with ice. I was like, oh, great. Yeah. So that can be if you have a little nice little Christmas bath tonight. You can put your new uh, dressing gown on. <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> a nice check on viewers, and I like it check because very festive. No, Rod Stewart. Oh God. <laughs> I do like my old Rod, Maggie May. He never ages that man. Well, he does a bit, but. Right, one of them, I think in that red thing, you've got to lift it up, yeah, because it's not actually wrapped. I couldn't get the paper around it. Right, but read the ticket. Right, then. So this is what I had to try and get mum to try subliminally. What's that mean? Big kind doors. Well, you'll see when you see the oh, present. Okay. Trying to get her to try these on without her looking, but these are going to be nice fitted ones for when we go out. So I'm going to have to lose a bit of weight. No. 
going on? Oh, what was this? Do That's the back of it. Oh. oh, is it? So on the front. No, this is the front. No. no that's Turn it. Oh, right. Sorry, <laughs> you are enough. That's on the front. Right. And then on the back. That's why I turn it, man, because I've got you. Dear person behind me, the world is a better place with you in it. Love the person. Oh, oh I'm going to get a husband now, viewers. <laughs> it's that's all about way. spreading positivity. Yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Because there's too much... Uh, horribleness now. So we've got matching. Oh, have we? Yeah, so I thought if oh, we go out right. in London, we can have a little day out in the summer, but we've also got a hoodie of it, so if it's a bit chilly... Oh, with the same words? Yeah, so it's the same wording, yeah. but I thought a hoodie and a top, so if it's a little bit chilly... And also, that's not too thick, is it? No, and that's not too thick, that's just no, something I've got. No, for the size, Yeah. Yeah, because I'm sort of three extra large, and I... Oh, that's good, thank you so much. So we've got a little bit of newness for the wardrobe. I thought I like the messages. There's loads of different ones you can get, but I thought that was the nicest one I could find. Oh, well, <clears> if, you, if you show me the site and there's some messages, and I'll get on with this because I haven't really got a hoodie, have I? No, only, that's what I thought I'd try. Only my Playboy for when I go and <coughs> see my friend. <coughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. And then you've got your last two got, little got... envelopes. Don't yeah, forget yeah, those yeah, babies yeah. down there. There's a mini you don't you not tell the truth? Which one's your eye? Are these both yours? Or They're both from me. Oh. No, no, Dad got you the Enamo and Disney. Oh, 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 yeah, but you've got the Disney one. Dad's bought me a ticket for Disney as well. Right. You, di you didn't even read the front of them, Mum. They've got oh, clues oh, on them. Oh, sip a few and take in the... It's a sipping of view and taking the view. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what this is. What do you think it is? The shard. No, oh, you've oh. already got the shard. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Thames lunch cruise. Oh, on the boat. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and experiences. So well, oh, not with them. Make lunch an occasion to be remembered with this relaxing cruise along the Thames. Oh, brilliant. I've wanted to do this I with know, you, haven't yeah. I? You and a lucky friend or partner can enjoy a delicious two-course meal. From a set menu complete with tea and coffee served by friendly, wa friendly waiters on hand to see your needs. The Thames lunch cruise for two will be a delightful afternoon as you board the river boat and head out to your mini voyage. Take in all the sights as you travel through the heart of London, enjoying mouth-watering dishes and the freedom of being offshore. After your meal, why not take a stroll on the deck and round off your experience by capturing the magnificent view from every angle. Some of the landmarks you will see up close will include the tallest building in Europe, the Shard, that's where I'll go and view it, yep. and a genuine World War II warship HMS Belfast. And when you get off the boat, make sure that you hold your purse and try <laughs> not to stumble and drop your purse in the water as you did before. Love, Shannon. Ha, ha, ha. I added that, old viewers, because we had a bit of a catastrophe last time, didn't we, Shannon? Yeah. You don't know how long she's been saying, I want to go on a riverboat cruise. Yeah, I want to do a yeah. riverboat cruise again. So. No, but that, that man, Shannon, viewers, he didn't help me off. He was looking at Shannon's body. <laughs> And I that was years ago. Yeah, and I stumbled, <laughs> didn't need to drop my purse. you got to read the front of this one. Oh, sorry, sorry. To mum, our favourite thing to do with a twist. Right. Right, what do you think they are before you open them? Let's uh, have a guessing game. A, a nice meal or a adventure thing. Okay, with a right. twist. Oh, so you've got the thing for the ice thing. I've got the okay, tickets for yeah, the ice. Oh, my God, I'm going on the thing after. Oh, oh, good again. Japanese-inspired afternoon tea for two at the five-star luxury Prince Akatoki, London. So Is again, this where we went to St Paul's? No, no, this completely, oh, these are all new oh, places. Oh, oh these are new places. All right, right. Right, here we go. Set your sights on a company British tradition... Elevated by Japanese influence with an afternoon for two at the Five Star Luxury Prince Hakutobi, London. On the ground floor, you'll find the Malt Lounge and Bar, where premium Japanese and international whiskies, homegrown sake and cocktails abound. 
the two of you can dine on Japanese delights with a menu that boasts the likes of chicken teriyaki, buns, <laughs> spicy tuna maki, and t tell me you give you a <laughs> No afternoon tea is complete without scones. Oh, that's all right. It's complete without scones, so you'll be taking care of that too. Accompanied by a clotted cream. Oh, so it's got a twist. So as you all oh, know, me and good. mum love a good afternoon tea. Yeah. But I'm trying to find afternoon teas that are Quirky. different. Yeah. So with Dada, for example, I want you to book a savoury gentleman's afternoon tea. But... Oh, he obviously yeah. hasn't opened his yet, Shen. No. So there was one in London. The thing with Dada, you can't get him on a train because he does not do well with people. So what I've actually bought him, it was another virgin day, is yeah. me and him are going to go on a road trip to the Cotswold and go on a brewery tasting day out. Yeah, like that. That way, he's in a car with me. I'm the only person he can moan at. And then if we go on a Sunday, there's a pub around the corner to have a nice Sunday lunch. So he hasn't opened his yet. He messaged and said, thank you for presents. I haven't opened them. And I was like, yeah, you might not say that when you open them. So uh, we shall see. But I highly recommend if you don't know what to get people, you don't want to get people loads of toot. Like people might think that's toot, but it's stuff like a new top and hoodie for mum, which I thought she'd like the message. Yeah. New dressing gown, a couple of perfumes, a calendar and a book. But yeah. the main presence of the days there, I really recommend like Virgin Experience days. I think it's like red letter days. Stuff where you can go out and do stuff and but make memories. Only, but you only, you don't have red letters, do you? You, you buy I do, but Virgin, red letters it? very similar to that. And I think there's like days out. Shannon, maybe your hair you'll have to clip up at night. So I know, it's come out, coming it's on come out a little bit. Oh, don't worry, that'd be all right. Oh, it's not coming out on the top. Oh, I might be the shadows. I thought it was on the... No, it might the... be on the shadow. Oh. So, yeah, I would say, like, days out are definitely... Or another thing, but it's no good with Mum because Mum won't do rides, but, like, a Merlin Day Pass or the Merlin Annual Pass where you go, it's, like, Shrek, London Eye, Aquarium, but then it's, like, Thorpe Park, Chessington. Yeah, but you pay, say, £200, but you go year. for the year, really. Yeah. A family. Yeah. And there is something I probably might look into, not next year, maybe the year after, is I'm sure it's a National Heritage or National Trust card, and it's where you can go to all the castles. Oh, right. And, like, historical places. You like that, don't you? Yeah. So, like, whenever I go to a log cabin, I'll always go to, like, a castle or, like, um, like Stonehenge or stuff. It's, like, all historical and... Would you Landmarks, like that? yeah. I would like, like that? I'm sure it's like National Heritage or National Na Trust. National Trust, doesn't it? Something like that. And oh, you well, like you're all right. You, you're, you're living with Anne Boleyn anyway. Woo! Like, I like stuff like that because yeah. it's when you don't know what to do, especially if you buy certain passes, if you buy like an unlimited one, so there's no like peak or off peak, you could just be sitting indoors one Sunday evening and think, yeah. oh, actually, right, have a look. There's a lot of stuff in Kent on that National Trust as well. Well, you got get in the car Leeds Castle, an hour yeah. away and off you go. Down in Kent, you've got Leeds, Heaver Castle. Heaver, that's the one one of the men at work went to and he says it's really good. Right, and then Ramsgate, you've got a thing, I think there's a ship. All right. And then down down that way, have you got uh, another ship uh, down uh, Rochester, Medway? Because Because that's like something to do with the... Uh, it's like maritime. And that's that, it, yeah, it? yeah. So, yeah, the definitely stuff that you can get, which you might think, mm, but they're always days out. And I think, especially sometimes if you're just sitting indoors and you're bored, you just think, get in the car. Yeah. Lovely pot. And there's a lot of stuff up Northway. A lot of stuff up Northway. Oh. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like that for, like, little road trips. So maybe, like, I wouldn't say next year, because next year I want to do, like, my actual travels. Yeah. But maybe the year after, if I want to, like, just coast by, something like that I think would be really fun. But anyway, I am going to uh, open my presents. However, there is... A lot. One Shove present. Me. Oh god, everything's falling behind me. There's one that's not wrapped up. I've got a snuddy. And I've got me the baby Yoda snuddy. Yeah. I'm so happy. Make sure oh god, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. <laughs> cucumber didn't work. Um yeah, so you will see my what I got for Christmas. But are you happy with your gifts? Yes, thank you so much. You spoke.
like all over my hair is atrocious. <laughs> oh, right. Are you fancying a bacon muffin? Oh, then. Yes. Oh. Because someone has been snacking at the pizza throughout the night. No, only one. <laughs> no, only one. <laughs> That's all. I was like, Mum. So I think we can have a bacon muffin. I think we'll leave off the fried egg. And then we can have a glass of Buck's Fizz. But while I am waiting for that, I'm going to have a slice of pizza. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you just missed it. Mum uh, <laughs> bent down to the whole thing and forgot that the door was open. Boom. cheerio So, yes, we are having... Bacon sinus. I just said we ain't got any ketchup. Oh, what I go from there? stages just to normal oil, or maybe a spray oil. Yeah, because the spray one's there. That's in. Right there. I go through stages oh, with ketchup. Oh, thing. But we're gonna have box fees, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna have our uh, Clementine box fees. Oh, I'm gonna leave that too all the calories on Christmas Day. So we have got Clementine Buck Fizz that Mum actually managed to get off with that a palaver like yeah. the uh, normal stuff. So cheers, Merry cheers, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, this is nice. Oh, very orangey. Clementine. The other one is just like fizzy orange juice, isn't it, Buxley? Yeah, but this is nice. You can taste Clementine. Can you zoom in on the glasses? I know they can see the glasses. This is um, what Caroline got us in our little boxes. Yes. So what better day than to use it for Christmas? <clears throat> Bacon is cooking. We're just going to do the uh, stotties. And then we will be back on the bed, stuffing our face, watching a bit of YouTube, mm. as standard. <laughs> time 10 to 10 mum had a bit of a disaster with her role she kind of hacked at it and uh, that was the outcome so it is breakfast time we have also still got our bucks fizz yes. no christmas is complete without a bit of bucks fizz and then we go on to the good stuff when we have the dinner which is the asti and that again is a new asti that's the posher asti oh is it because i couldn't get the uh, normal silver one so we shall see how that goes but i'm gonna put on hannah ricky if you know from last year, I love watching her bits. And then tonight, I think when we're in Christmas dinner, we'll eat Christmas dinner and watch a Christmas film. And then tonight, when we're like chilling, I want to put the donkey cam on like we did last year because they got the donkey cams in the donkey yeah, sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. And we can see how the donkeys are this year. And then it's not, that's not the place that we're going to. Like, oh, right. that's in like Devon, but it's very similar. Like, we'll see miniature donkeys. Because my mum loved the donkeys viewers. So we do have the donkey, we have the donkey decorations that we got last year and the, everything on there. So I'm going to watch Hannah Ricky because she does like the vlogs around London. So just being that uh, Christmassy vibe and then I think I'm going to jump in the bath, come out, probably put my PJ straight back on, I'm not going to lie because we don't get dressed Christmas Day. We have got matching candy cane dresses but I'm thinking I want to hold them out for like the taste test in the Yule Log. Might be Boxing Day. Yeah, and yeah. we'll taste test the yeah. Yule and we'll have our matching uh, dresses tomorrow. So for now, we're going to watch a bit of Hannah Rickett and stuff our faces. Hold on, it's time for it to reappear.
had my bath, as you can tell, I've put my onesie on because it is a little bit chilly. We've still got the heating on, but a little bit cold. Just heard from Dada. He um, is wearing his Christmas jumper with his Christmas apron and his Christmas hat while he's doing his dinner. And he actually didn't mind the day out. He now wants to make it a weekend away, so I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be a booze cruise for a weekend, ain't it? So he's like, right, we'll look at a hotel, we'll go away up for the Saturday, Sunday, da 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 da, da. So I'm like, that's summertime, we don't need to be looking at that just yet. But I said to mum, last Christmas was very hectic. So last Christmas, obviously, we vlogged. I vlogged the same day and filmed my what I got for Christmas. Then we done the three course meal, then I done my pamper night. I said I'm not feeling it. I am feeling a lot better than what I was, but it's just the last little last little bit, you know, and I'm still trying to sort this coleslaw out. So I'm gonna put another compete on it. And then at night I will put my blistex. <coughs> but I said to mum, I just wanna chill. Mum's in her room, she's just calling the uh, family rands, speaking to all of them. And I said, you know what, I'm just gonna chill do a bit of editing i've got my uh, second glass of bucks fizz mum's got hers and that's it we're gonna chill we're not gonna have a full three course meal today because i had three slices of pizza and a bacon muffin for breakfast mum had a slice of pizza and a bacon muffin and i want to enjoy it so i said tomorrow boxing day we'll have a nice little starter need to remember to get the cheesecake out tomorrow and then it will just be turkey mash and veg for tomorrow just like leftovers you know so yeah, everyone seems to have enjoyed their presents. Mummy's still reading through all of hers and I said to her, please don't get rid of them. Because mum has a tendency just to like chuck them. And I'm like, no, I need the little voucher co thing on the back. If you've um, done Virgin Experience Days, you know that the coding is always on the back. And you need to keep that. Because if you lose it, oh, if you lose it, then it's not great. This thing on my lip is looking worse, but I feel like it's healing more. It's just so annoying, ain't it? And it always happens to be where my scar is. So yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to edit part two of Vlogmas. I've got part one. Is part one still exporting? Yeah. So actually I can't edit. I've got 40 minutes of part one to export. So what I might do is I do my thumbnail for tonight, Christmas Eve. And then I'll reply back to all your comments and I'll go on Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram for ages. And I'll catch up on my DMs. But yeah. Just a productive day. I'm going to turn this light off because I'm getting a banging headache. Got my Christmas tree on. <coughs> we'll put the galaxy projector on. And you'll probably see us when we're ready to stick the bird in. Which I think we'll probably put the turkey in maybe. I'm going to estimate it will take a couple of hours to do. So I'll probably put the oven on at like half two. Get it in for three. Should have a dinner before six. Oh no. Put it on for half two. We watch the King's Speech. Oh my god, the king. oh my god, it's the first Christmas without the Queen. Oh, that's made me really sad. Three o'clock, you'll see us next when we watch the King's Speech. Michael, the yeah. back and tie of the wheel. Right. 625. 625. Right. I don't know about you, but I like oh, when I was oh. walking in front of the camera. Oh, sorry. I miss Queenie. Obviously, I miss Queenie, but I wonder why. I get why he didn't do it at a table, because he's at the chapel. But I think he was very diplomatic, because he didn't, pardon me, mention anyone in particular. No, but I just thought it'd be a bit longer. It's a, just you seemed seem to, be... to focus on like 
the world's issues, which they yeah. said he does. Yeah. Whereas Queenie we used to have the pictures and she'd speak about all the her children family. and yeah. grandchildren. Yeah. He didn't mention William, he didn't mention Harry, he didn't no. mention Camilla. He didn't no, mention... he said the Prince and Princess of Wales, wasn't he? They've took on extra yeah. responsibilities. He didn't talk about his brother that he's just chucked out of Buckingham Palace. That's all yeah. over the headlines. I mean, you don't really need to put headlines like that at Christmas. No, Everyone no. knew the inevitable was coming. Yeah. But, yeah, he seemed to be steadying himself a little bit on that. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, he seemed a bit rocky, didn't he? Too many mm. sherry's viewers or pork. Year of 2022, the first King's speech. Yeah. I used to like seeing Queenie's speech, see what she was wearing. Yeah. She always used to have a funky little outfit, and I used to like to see which picture she had. Because she used to have different pictures, didn't she? On her desk, yeah. So maybe next year he might be at a desk and he'll have a thing. Yeah. He called him mother and father. Normally it's uh, mama and papa. Mama and papa. That's if he's here next year. God, can you imagine that? That's all you need. All the money's just started getting printed and circulating. Oh, all God, the post yeah. boxes have changed. All the stamps. It's not till 2024, though, isn't it? What? It's not next year. It's the year after that it comes into circulation. No, no, it's already started because they said you'll have so many years where it'll be him and the Queen's. Oh, right, oh, right. Because you can't just stop Queen's money. No. You've still got to have her face on it and the stamps and that. We're yeah. not just going to stop the publication. Right, so it's ten past three. We've got until, what was it, 20 past six? Yeah. To get dinner ready. Cause just I say want... ten past six. We've got three hours. Oh, that should be more than enough. Yeah. Peel the fish, have a thing. Let's get dinner going. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, Christmas is a part of me. We've got them ones. 19 pence. But if they can do them like that price at Christmas, yeah, why yeah. can they not do it all year round? Yeah, yeah. That's what I don't get. And I think, what should we... Because that's not going to be enough for another one. What should we mix? We'll put it with the... Uh, Asda finest special price. Oh, yeah. Well, that smells nice. Should we take what it? You can first impressions. Oh. What you can do, leave the... Uh, 
gingerbread and the Mark's one separate. Oh, that's very citrusy. Mm. Oh, mix it a bit in there. Just rack it round with a spoon or something. I'm going to put an orange in it today as well, oh, so we'll get the full festivities. Okay. I mean, if you can't have a mulled wine at Christmas, then it's a four I'll do. Well, Shannon, you've had plenty to drink at Christmas <laughs> now, so. When the camera weren't on, you didn't hear, but Mum was like, Shannon, what was it you said to me? You, you're looking back at the drink over Christmas. But even before Christmas for yours, and I'll say your your father's daughter. You've been having babies, haven't you? You've been having not so much gin, it's more babies, isn't it? Gin I only had on the night I was annoyed. Yeah. And that was gone. I like my babies, I like my mum's wine. Yeah. Mum's wine more, isn't it? Because last year we had about three or four bottles from Tesco's, but we've tried a different a few different ones this year, haven't we? The most important part is the booze. That's what I'm saying. You're your father's daughter. Dad's ill. You're real. The Gemini bug. Medicinal purposes. Yeah. But where Dad's having a sherry and uh, brandy. Oh, I don't drink sherry and brandy. No, no. You don't like all that stuff, That's do you? That's not a bit of me. Mind you, well, I'm I... doing mulled wine. We're supposed to have our ass for dinner. Oh, that don't, don't drink that out of the bottle. Oh, and you've been nicking back the uh, Prosecco there. Is it Prosecco? No, Baby Sham. I ain't had too much Baby Sham this year. We, we ain't got any Baby Sham, No, no, we? I only had the four case and oh. now I've replenished them. Oh, well, sorry. I'll have to make sure I do it ready for the new year. In amongst my busy schedule, viewers, I forgot the sham, uh, the sh Baby Sham. We can have the Asti tomorrow for Boxing Day. Oh, then what have um, our starter tomorrow because we're not oh, going to start no, today. No, that's all right. Then we can have our starter. We can have like cold, well, like not cold, but like turkey and mash. Oh, then okay, whatever. And we'll have the assy thing. I actually really oh, yeah. like this Clementine Bucks for years. And how much was that? Oh, we'll get, we'll get another one for New Year's Eve, yeah? And I can actually, mind you're swallowing your uh, combo. Oh, I've got the oh. pack. And I can actually open that one. I could actually go to the front door, viewers, get the tea towel, hidden. Mm. That's not for three quid, isn't it? How much was the uh, other one, Asti? Six fifty. That one. A bit expensive, gone. You only used before. No, though, but that's it? not the normal one we get. The oh, normal right. one we get is a silver label. They didn't have yeah. any of that. That oh. was five seventy five. Oh right, okay. What that one? No, our normal one. Oh, right. oh, oh, what? Oh, not what it <coughs> And the normal bucks of is two pound, and that was three pound. Well, somebody when I went back up yesterday. There was no normal bucks fees, and there weren't none of that one left. Um, so you must have got it in time. I love a bit of bucks fees. I said at Christmas, I'm such a cheap date. I'm not someone who wants like prosecco or champagne and my way and all that. Give me bucks fees, a glass of baby chamonaste, and I'm happy. And a mulled wine. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I'm not one to be like, no, I've got to have like my own chandon, or I've got to have prosecco. I'm like, baby sham, I'm good to go. Oh, do I must I'm not really a Lambrini girl. <coughs> I, mu I must admit that that Culver is quite nice from Tesco. Cause well, I did look for that, but that was sold no, out. No, I thought Culver was dry. No, you get a sparkling one, didn't you? No, no, you get a fruity one. Oh, and that's the, they did have a, that's the bottle that Dad gave me the other week. They had an Asti, which was a rose, which was fruity. Oh, but that's but nice. I didn't know. I didn't want to like tempt fate. No, so no, I no. Well, I'll stick with Asti because we know Asti's good. Oh. I did look for Culver, but there was no Culver there. No, but I thought Culver was dry because I was under the impression. It's like fruit in it. No, no, it's a fruity thing. It's quite nice because oh. that one that Dad gave me, he said you can only have one. You're not having both. And I thought, oh, that was really nice. Well, I am getting a bit more partial to wine. I got a nice bottle of wine from work. I don't really know. What, what, did, what wine did you have when you went out with your friend for dinner? I had a rosé blush rosé, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. But it was red or white from work, so I got a hardy Chardonnay. Oh, oh, this is one? supposed to be quite good, yeah. Yeah, but I did get a case of beer. Yeah, yeah. I could have had another couple of bottles of wine. I was like, I won't go for the beer. Do you want any more? No, that should be enough. That was all we could do. I was like, I don't mind doing a candy over Christmas. Yeah. We've got lemonade. I can get yeah. another. Or if you wanted an old-fashioned thing, and it, viewers, is a uh, lager and lime. Oh. But I'm showing my age. No, I'm not really like... Well, no. Nah. I don't mind a shandy, like shandy bass, like Nan used to have. Yeah, well, that, that's a lemonade, didn't it? Yeah. So, half an hour, I've got the bits in at the moment. 
for the Yorkies, but I think I might have to swap them over. But we'll see that in half an hour. But yeah, prep is done. Let us know as well, what time do you have your Christmas dinner? Because it's now 20 past five. When I spoke to Nan, Nan was like, I had mine at half 11. Oh, Dad was early. having his, I think, like mid-afternoon. We have ours late. No, but Dad's not well, is he? So we'll probably just... But he normally his... has his, like, what, two, three-ish? Depends I, I, don't, I can't have there. like a early. I like it as a dinner, like like we'd have a normal Sunday dinner. So it's going to be about six ish, which 20 past six, Michael McIntyre, the Christmas wheel. Yeah. That is what I'm here for. I'm very excited for that stuffing. Yeah, it looks nice. Next time I go home, bar, because if it's still there, I might pick a few of them up. I still need to try and get some more of my Christmas dinner mug shots. Oh, God, everything's falling. Oh, mayday, mayday! We need to decide what day we're going to do the old um, Yule Logs. I'm thinking maybe Thursday we'll taste all the Yule Logs. All right, then. We can do it for a New Year thing, can't you? No, it needs to be up before Oh, the yeah, all right. Then. I think if we do it Thursday, then I can have it up as Friday. Oh, what, Thursday evening? Yeah, that could be our dinner Thursday. Okay, then. Because we'll probably be using turkey tomorrow, Boxing Day. Yeah. Tuesday, we'll have a little, we might get sand cat. Or Tuesday, we might choose up like bread soils and cheeses. Yeah. Wednesday, we'll see what's there. Thursday, we can just have a sweet treat night. Yeah. So, um, our stuffing balls, it says 12, which would probably be like for normal people. I was going to attempt to try and make six out of them, but I just wanted a really large one. So, ours yeah. are like little boulders. There's still enough water in the kettle for the veg, or shall yeah, I dump yeah. it up? We don't need the water in it, yeah. Oh. And then gravy. I will be on gravy duty. Yeah. No uh, lumpy gravy from the head chef. Because the head chef... Normally always does lumpy gravy. Yeah, I can't help it with you. <laughs> Just in time, but 10 minutes to spare before Michael McIntyre. Mold wine is at hand. Head chef, how do you think you did? Oh, thank you. Yum, yum, yum. You got one off a fork. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> I you were bringing it in. Oh. My um, cold sore is at point now. Whoa! Oh, 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 lost the dinner on the bed. Oh. When I'm like moving my lips now, it's bleeding. Because oh, yeah, it's in the cracking stage. Better. Yeah, but it's in the cracking stage. I really want to try my roast potatoes with the uh, seasoning on. Let's have a look. Oh, God. Good job I didn't have white pujos on. Hmm. They're not too bad. I didn't smother them. In the seasoning, because the seasoning was for, like, a whole bag of potatoes. Oh, you but used the roast seasoning? Only a little bit, because the pack was for, like, a whole big bag of potatoes. So oh, I just right. dusted a little. Okay. Parsnips, these are my favourite. <laughs> <sighs> mm. If you do parsnips, I highly recommend you to put the honey and mustard M&S dressing on them. Yeah, we don't that, don't we? And actually really nice parsnips from Tesco. Yeah. Huge. But as you said, why can't they do that all year? Mm. You know? And I mean, our stuffing balls are clearly not the size of Norman's stuffing balls, but I'm really excited for this. Mm. Oh, that stuffing is nice. Was it premium stuffing or something? 
It was Paxo yeah. limited edition turkey and bacon stuffing. Oh, for Christmas. Turkey and bacon. Mm. Oh, we could definitely smell the bacon. And I'm very happy my Yorkshires are coming out back on top. Yeah. Last time was a blip. Mmm. I've got whole grain mustard as my choice. Let us know if you have any um, dips with uh, your Christmas dinner. But yeah. We're going to ship. Watch Michael McIntyre. Is it the celebrity will? I think so. I don't know if it's celebrity. Oh, right. It just said Christmas special. Oh, right. Let's roll a time lapse. Two pigs in blankets, and mum left three brussels, some turkey and stuffing. Put your eyes too big for your belly. Yeah, I've had enough, thank you. I was getting very cosy there watching the wheel. Now I think like I'm ready for a nice bath. Let me sort out my loop because it's like split. Have you got the candle on? No, we've got the heating on now. Put it on then. And then I can... Have a slow bath. I think it's like, I don't know, half seven. Oh, I hate spinning this new thing around. Set it to 22. But yeah, I'm a stuck little piggy. I don't know. I'm maybe like half seven. No, just look on the thing. Uh, the time is 25 past seven. Oh, How would you rate your Christmas dinner? Six a lump, eh? I think I cooked the turkey to perfection again. Yeah, yeah. perfection. <coughs> I'm going to get ready for a Christmas time bath. And then get back in my PJs. Yeah. It's a lot later. It's quarter to ten. I was trying to put on the donkey sanctuary cams, but they're not working. They were a bit fuzzy tonight, so <sighs> I'm going to try that tomorrow. Always an hour before bed. My breathing goes really bad again. I don't know why. <sighs> I don't know why. In my head, every time I cough, my head is pounding. Is she already asleep? Oh no, I thought she'd be asleep. I'm going to bed now. Oh, she's on a tree out. No, no, I'm just turning everything off. Oh, you got bed device too? Yeah, I'm just doing the lamp. Oh, okay. Bed too. Remember Santi's bin? Yeah, happy with Santi's gifts? Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is it still Christmas day then? Yeah, it's oh, only yeah. 10 o'clock. Oh. I'm going to take some tablets because oh. my head is pounding. Yeah, then we'll take some tablets. <sighs> Every time I cough, and it's always like Shame. an hour or so before bed. It's when the temperature drops. And also, shake that thing and have a swig of that. Oh, my chest is really raised as well. Yes, oh, you like your day. I have two. I feel like my chest is like raised like a big lump, isn't it? I don't know why. I don't know if it's when I lay down. You need to make the bed. Pop your pillows up more. It's just when I lay down. Yes, you need, you need, maybe you need to pop your, your pillars up more. Aye, aye, aye. Well, if not, you're going to, you're going to have to go and ring my mum and the book and send the next one. Good luck with that. A load of good days. Yeah. What's the point in having a doctor where you can't get to see one, eh? Well, well no, you can, you can ring up, but they have to do a consultation over the phone. In three weeks time. Well, yeah, no, you, yeah. you just have to bring out and see whether they can see you the next day. Because it's, it's going to be on on Tuesday. That's the next time that the doctors... Well, are, I yeah. would like my national health stopped yeah. for 10 days, please. Yeah. So I can save some money. Right, I'm going to bed. Oh, you going to bed? Good night. Good night. See you in yeah. the morning. Have you had a good Christmas? Yes, thank Bye. you. Yeah, love to everyone. <laughs>
good morning my lovelies happy boxing day <coughs> i've given myself time so i'm hoping i'm not gonna cough every time i speak a word but hey ho we never know with myself do we um it is 20 past eight i've been up since about seven ish as i say i've had my morning hour too <sighs> but i'm coughing up green shit again great and you know they're not like little bits, they're like, I feel like I was choking, I was heaving, which is probably TMI to let you know first thing in the morning, but hey ho, we're all friends here, so I was up at 7, both vlogs exported overnight, woohoo, I've just done my post to let you all know that there's double uploads from now until Saturday, and now I'm trying to like focus to think what I need to get done today, do I need to put slap on? Yes. Have I got to cover this atrocity? Yes. So we may be having a uh, dark lipstick, let's just say, for that. And then I think tomorrow is going to be like a baking day. Tomorrow I'm going to get the baking done. And potentially we might do the Yule Log tomorrow. I know we were going to do it Thursday, but I'm thinking, hmm, I could probably fancy some chocolate tomorrow. And then I might even try and do like a pamper vlog. Because if you saw in the last week's vlog, um, one of my lovely viewers, Caroline. I sound like mum there, viewers. One of my lovely friends, Caroline, actually sent me and mum like a big hamper box. And it was basically everything for a pamper night. So I feel like I want to do that. And we've got one more of her films to watch, not in heel. So I might try and do that tomorrow. If not, that could be a Wednesday thing. I'm not too sure. But yeah, the laptop... As you can see, I've got the uh, baby hard drive out. I'm just transferring some footage because I only had 50 gig left on my laptop. And one of the files alone was 55 gig. So hopefully by transferring all of this, I will um, gain a bit more space. I just said to mum, I said, um, my electric hasn't been off since Friday. Like my um, electrical you know my little like extension -y thing because the laptop's been on overnight exporting stuff's been charging all of that jazz and she was like that's fine it literally doesn't seem to have gone up so much but i do think that one day i'm going to have a productive day where i'm not on bed i'm going to clear some space on my dressing table hook my charger and my big car drive up to there and try and be productive because i need to sort out the transfer of files from my baby hard drive to my big hard drive which is probably very you probably don't care about this but i want to have like a proper day when i do all my receipts and everything where i'm at my desk or my dressing table i don't want to be on the bed because then i get sidetracked and i'll be like on my phone and tiktok and that's just that's not the vibe is it shall we go and see what mum's doing i'm going to ask her as well you'll probably hear me she'll say no i'll be like mum 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 it's coughing up green stuff she'll say okay i'll be like do you want to see she'll be like no we're like still in the tissue. But yeah, Boxing Day is just very chilled for us. Let's have a look. She's probably done her morning cuppa. Oh no, she hasn't done her morning cuppa. She's there. Sleeping beauty. I'm going to put the heating on in a minute. You're going to put the heat Yeah, um, camera just died on me, so. You're going to put the heating on in a moment, you say. Yeah. I've been coughing up green stuff again. Well, we'll bring it up then. Do you want to see it? No. <laughs> she never wants to see. It's really thick. It was like I was almost choking this morning. Well, you're going to have to ring 111 today and see if we can get, get a prescription. I'll, I'll ring and see. No, because sometimes you need the antibiotics. We'll ring 111 and the locum may be to send it to our local. I really can't be bothered. I'm spewing it up now. Oh. It, was like, it was like really thick green oh, stuff. Don't, which I don't know. <laughs> so I said Boxing Day. I feel like today I'm going to get some filming done. Tomorrow... We do baking and the Yule Logs, I think, tomorrow. Right, tomorrow then. we'll have, like, a sweet dessert day. Right, then. And tomorrow, guess what I'm baking? What? I'm going to try and do a festive twist. I found a recipe for some Clementine flatjacks. Oh, right, then. They look very nice. I thought we could try them. Why would I get the Clementines at the shop? Yeah, I think the Clementines is just for the top bit. Oh, right, OK. Because we've got oats, but I thought it would be quite nice, like, cinnamon and light. Yeah, we've got all the herbs and uh, spices, haven't we? We should do, so yeah. Oh. I am going to run a morning bath. Just I'll put the heating on first. Okay, let's let's put the heating on first. Yeah, put it on 22. Run a um, morning bath. Put it on 22, she says. And then, once I'm all freshened up, 
I can get into filming, which as I say, the first thing I need to do is my what I got for Christmas. I will do that. And then I will also probably do the me buying mum's Primark. That could be one. I need to sort out my um, memory card though, because I have filled it up. 128 gig. Whoopsie. Hello. I am uh, fresh out of the bar, back in my PJs. I just got here. Oh, smashing up my room. How fabulous. I need to do the task today of changing over tea lights again and also the main candles. I have been going through my candles like none other this year. And I mean, well, thank goodness that I had a few spare ones, eh? I need to figure out how to do this what I got for Christmas. We all know I normally do it in front of a Christmas tree, but the lighting is not the greatest in there. To be perfectly honest, I could set up a ring light, but that is so long. It is so long to set up that ring light. And to be honest, I haven't really used it much since I bought it because by the time you have to put all your screws and your poles in, I'm just like, oh. So I'm gonna try and wrangle it around. I don't know why, one of my eyes is always more bloodshot at the minute. I don't know if this is where I'm coughing and it's like bursting blood vessels, but we're gonna go with it. Um, I'm gonna undo the hair in a minute because I have no idea what kind of state this is gonna be in. Let's moisturize up, shall we? We're just gonna put a little bit of Nivea Day Cream on. As I say, we all know with my, um, what I got for Christmas. Oh, actually, no, the other day, other day, other year, I had like full blown slap on, didn't I? Should I put some slap on? Let's moisturize first and then we'll see. Because my lip, I'm gonna have to put some form of lipstick or a gloss over it because we're now at that scabbing stage, aren't we? And it just so happens. Should be on the scar, which is already darker than the rest of my face. So that's great. Shall we? I think the first year I done my what I got for Christmas, I was PJs, no makeup. And then I feel last year, last year was orange hair. I feel like I was in my dress with a full face of makeup because I'd done it on Christmas Day. Should we put a bit of slap on? Shall we put a bit of slap on? I'm thinking we might end up putting a bit of slap on. And at least that way I can kind of try and cover this monstrosity. Decisions, decision. I hope the hair's not going to be a flop. That's the main thing. I mean, I know it's a uh, room central, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I think I'm definitely going to maybe do my hair again. Wednesday or do I do it? Do I do it end of the week, like going into the new year with no roots? I mean, obviously the roots are still there, but we know what we mean. Right, I think, is it going to be a makeup day? But the only thing is, I haven't got any more 140s. I used all my lashes. So we're going to have to see what is in the container. I shall see you in a bit because I feel like I'm in a very indecisive mood right now. And hopefully, I will still be in my pyjamas later on, but I might have a bit of slap on. Who knows? Ta-da! <laughs> the hair has not gone as bad as I thought. I didn't think it was going to curl because it was obviously in the pigtails and then mum just put it up in a big one. And then the makeup wise pff, the lip is not... I mean, guys, look at the lip. Which you're probably thinking, Shan, from far away, you can't see it, which is great, but... I've got to do a close-up video soon and this really isn't the vibe I've got terrible terrible earache I don't know who's where I'm coughing oh my god the pain the pain is horrendous you remember when I was on holiday and it was this ear again that wouldn't pop it's this problem again I don't know why I've tried like holding my nose and blowing nothing happened at all so we are going to go with this I don't quite know how the footage is going to go for the back room. Part of me was thinking was bringing all the presents in and doing it on my bed, but I don't know. Should we have a look? Because you haven't even seen properly, I don't think, what Santa left. So, <clears throat> excuse the hallway. The hallway is a mess. But this is what we're working with. So, I mean... 
could I take this into my room? But I don't want to because I love having the tree as my background. I kind of need to like position myself there, move that over a bit, put the tripod here and we're just going to have to work with the lighting as best we can. Part of me is thinking is opening that, but I think that will cause backlight. Or I could sit on there and do I don't know. I don't know. I feel like traditional vibes because, as I say, it's probably not. But if it was my last Christmas here, I would want to do it in, like, the traditional setting. I say traditional setting. This is your third one, Shan. But you know what I mean, guys. And, oh, God, look. Yeah, you can definitely tell. So the camera's going to have to be way, 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 way over there. And even then you can still see it. So apologies for my what I got for Christmas video because you are going to see this atrocity on my lip. But, Shannon Lee, stop procrastinating. Let's get in and start trying to film this video. However the lighting goes, we are just going to have to go with it. We're going to go with it, okay? Oh, guys. If you have seen the what I got for Christmas video, you know it is a long one. It is a long plumbing video, let me tell you that. My ear is still not popped. And I want to, like, really... But I'm really scared because when my ear pops, it is horrible, like absolutely horrendous. So I'm just going to kind of carry on speaking and listening out of one ear. But yeah, I'm surrounded by my presents right now. I need to tidy up, tidy some boxes up, take a few pickies, and then I want to get something to eat. I'm hungry. I think there's a couple of spare picks in blankets and a stuffing bowl. I might just munch on that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to munch on that. It's cute to uh, me stuffing my face, eh? Actually, before I stuff my face, I've just come in my bedroom and it is freezing. So I need to, that's still fine, sort out my uh, candles. So thank goodness I had a few new ones for Christmas. So eh? I'm going to get all of these out, just lift them out, get the wick. We've got some winter spice. Let's get the B and M one out because yeah, it is chilly today, guys. Cold. Oh my god, I want to strip me nail off, eh? Let's have a look. So we're gonna have the gingerbread old snap, and then I'm gonna put winter spice. How many do you reckon we can fit either side? Let's move the peel. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna have winter spice, mold fire side, and I feel like. I want to put my little crackle candle, my little one from B&M. Will that fit in there? Well, that can go back there. Oh, yes, fabulous. Fabulous. Let's light them all now. Let's put the little wick at the back. Oh, not great when you're almost falling over, eh? I haven't even had a drink yet, my lovelies. Oh, it's already crackling away. I love it. Willow Bay is the dupe for wood wicks. And then Asda's version is eco wicks. I need to just get my bin, change over all the tea lights. And then when you come back, I'm going to stuff my face. Well, actually, no. I'll be laying on my bed stuffing my face with all the tea lights on, yeah? That's how it's going to go. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had my pigs in blanket and my stuff in ball and realised I was really hungry still. So, <laughs> I've got two Yorkshire puts and a cup of piping hot gravy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit more of a snack. It is only half one, so it's not been long since you left us. But I'm going to chill. I've put on a half hour vid, eat me uh, Yorkshire pudding and gravy, and then probably drink the rest of the gravy because that's the northern girl in me, eh? <laughs> I fell asleep and my perch come off my coleslaw. That's not good, is it? Um, it's ten to three, so I need to get um my lips sorted out. That's for starters. And then I think I'm going to film what I got mum for Primark. Then that's another one done. And then I'll probably fall asleep again. <sighs> Guys, 
guys, we have just finished filming the what I bought for mum for the winter. Oh my god, I've never laughed so much. If you see that video, <laughs> I've never laughed so much. It was hilarious. Yes, I film from the top up and then I have my PJ bottoms down below, but. Mm. I was laughing so much, I was like, oh my god, I'm crying my lashes off. I'm actually crying my lashes off. So, it was quite an eventful one. And it was quite a successful one. It's quite a lot that mum liked. Not the footwear. That's where uh, she... <coughs> That's where she drew the line, not the footwear. But yeah, there was um, a little bit of a disaster, which... I'm sure you'll see because, as I say, I just I couldn't stop laughing. To be perfectly honest, it's half four. I've just put the um, heating on for a little bit. Oh, shown these your receipts from last month. Oh, okay, thank you. She's back in her thing. I said you had a little bit of a disaster in yeah. the Primark. <laughs> she injured her foot trying on some of the things. They my receipts. Mm. Great, because I need to do my receipts one day while I'm off. The joys of adulting and all that, eh? But yeah, I've just put the heating on. I've only just put it on. Because I think I'll update this and then have a bath. And then what are we thinking? Turkey, mash? Oh, whatever, Sean. Yeah, I'll get yeah. the piece done. <laughs> are, you, are you all right? You're hobbling a bit. No, I've got to go to the <laughs> I've got to go to the bathroom Do you want to give? Because they've not seen the uh, Primark video in this. So a little synopsis. I bought mum a pair of like um ankle those was like ankle sock boots weren't they yeah with a little heel and while i was sitting in the room waiting for her to come in <laughs> all i could do was this shouting and she come in and said it's cut my toe it's cut my toe it and it fell on my toe <laughs> the boot fell on her toe and scratched Not it no it's cut it look <laughs> She's not happy. She's not happy at all. Um, but my Yorkshire puddings earlier were lovely. I'll take with one. a did ya? Oh, that's all right. Cup of gravy, yes, please. So, trees on. Laptop's doing one video. I now need to get the stuff for the other video. And am I going to take my makeup off yet? Maybe. Maybe we'll see. Update on my lip. I took the compy patch off and just smothered it in lipstick. We'll try and recover it with Blistex tonight. But yeah, let's take you out and let's put a new memory card in, export, and get another dinner, video done. Dinner, dinner. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Girl, do you have surpassed yourself? Where's the past tips? Past tips, past tips. Lolly! Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll get you a fork and then you can get Dish up dinner time. So you can best believe my lipstick ain't going to look like this after because it's going to get devoured. We have got leftover turkey, mustard mash, parsnips and brussels and a hell load of gravy. I'm going to put a comedy on. It's called The oh. Office Christmas Party oh. because I think that mum would like this. So uh, needless to say more, let's run a time lapse of our stuff in our face. And who thinks mum can do it without dropping it on her PJs? Yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Just finished it. What did you think? Good. It was very, very funny. Mum was yeah. like, oh my god, oh no, oh no. I like that. That's probably one of my favourite Christmas comedies. That's not really a Christmas comedy, it's literally just about a big, huge ass party. But it's around Christmas, so uh yeah. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna wash, wash up? up? Yeah. What's that on there? Because <laughs> it's uploading the video. What's that on plus size? <laughs> Goodness <laughs> features. <laughs> 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 I bought my mum's Primark haul plus size winter edition oh. because it just shows people if they're searching for plus size content. Oh, right. <laughs> just look at Mama G. I'm a plus size model. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> oh. See, this is the thing. I'm all right in the day, 
but first thing in the morning and last thing at night. You go croaky. When I lay and my breathing gets bad, I don't well, know why. Well, may, maybe you better turn them candles off now. It might be that that you're breathing in at night and sit up more. Probably because you've had a two litres of baby. <laughs> yeah, that's probably like Yeah, I need to have a Dried bit of your voice out. water and some yeah. cough mixture. So you're going to wash up. What yeah. time is the big quiz? Nine o'clock. Right, so we've got, got 45, 45 minutes. Mummy's going to be back in with me and we're going to walk. What is it? Big fat quiz? Yeah. What? With Jimmy what? Carr. Woohoo! Oh, my lovelies, I need your help. So, if you watched a few of the vlogs before, you'll know that upstairs had a leak. I had a bathroom set installed that wasn't approved. And I don't know what's going on, whether they've got to take it out or what on earth they're doing. But we had a leak come through by the electrical cupboard and the fuse box. <laughs> the past three days, when I've turned my light on, my bulbs have blown. So, in three days, I've lost three bulbs. I go to the box, I have to flip the switch back up and then turn the light back on. Does anyone know what this could be? Is there water in our fuse box? Mum's going to try calling the council tomorrow but I doubt that you're going to get much sense out of them because I don't even think anyone's been up there to inspect the works that she's had privately done that haven't been approved. So, for me, if you've had works done that haven't been approved, they should be reinstated, so take out whatever on earth you've had put in and have the correct stuff put in which is council approved and then sort out <coughs> wherever this war has gone because I think even though the leak has stopped some might have seeped somewhere into the mains box that's just what I'm thinking but yeah if anyone does know because currently you probably can't tell but I'm down to two bulbs out of five so now just drop my peel that's great i don't really want to turn my light back off if i know i'm going to have it on because i need bulbs i need to be able to see so yes if anyone could uh, give any advice that'd be greatly appreciated i've just finished off my bottle of baileys that is gone and as i say you can tell it's the evening and mornings when my throat gets a little bit poorly so I don't quite know what's happening there, but it is almost nine o'clock. So me and mum, we will get ready to watch the big fat quiz of the year. Now we're back here once again. Holidays and cheer. But now I got my eye set on you. Oh, I'm not gonna play it safe. to 11 mum's gonna keep she's ko'd and so am i i'm gonna take my coffee mixture put my cardigan on cardigan my dressing gown and go to sleep so yes i will see you tomorrow my lovelies for tuesday and i think tomorrow's gonna be a foodie day i want to do my blaking blaking baking and my yule log if anyone else knows why night times and mornings i'm like this please do let me know help a girl out but yeah no no Happy Tuesday, my lovelies. Oh, well, I thought I was having a productive morning. I've done my car insurance, everything like that. And then they asked for proof of no claims. So I went on my thing and I was like, poop. I thought I had eight years, I've got seven years. So I sent it over and I'm like, oh, please tell me if this needs to be amended. But it wasn't a bad price. So even if I've just redone it with the seven years price and I think it's like 20 quid difference so they might email through and be like we need to charge you more I'll be like okay my bad there's me this is why I shouldn't try and be productive first thing in the morning it's actually quite a lot later I got up at seven had a little bit of a lay in and then <coughs> had a really bad sore throat this morning I was um, up quite a bit coughing I don't know why my lips I've been biting my lip again I don't know why I'm biting my bottom lip and that's not good so I think mum is still asleep she's a little sleepy fairy I'm going to do my list for the bits that we need for the baking video I'm probably going to quickly jump in the bath and then today I need to do monthly favourites 
baking the clementine flapjacks and taste testing the yule logs and then I would say we'll do the pamper evening as well tonight but I think we might do that tomorrow I might try and film a few other videos like my little did I reach my goals and all of that jazz but yeah happy Tuesday and yes my first sip of the day was Bailey's don't judge me don't judge me okay but yeah let's see where today takes us. Oh, oh look at the bed hair on it this morning. Don't keep doing that Shane. Walking up on me. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. And we have bacon and eggs. I'm fancy and bacon and egg muffin. Should we have that? We Stop haven't you. had that yet. Yeah, like a big muffin. My poor coleslaw, look, it's healing, but it's on the scabby stage now. But I have to be careful because it's like every time I it's move sweet, it, yeah. it cracks. Mum's having, will you have a cup of tea or coffee? Uh, I've got to get some tea base. I've got the last tea. We'll get some when I go bargain shop. No, no, I'll get some tomorrow when I get those bits. We are going to have bacon and fried egg muffin. Who remembers when we used to have these in the bagels? We're having it in the full blown muffin. just finished filming my monthly favorites the bed is a state but guys look at my snoody just look I feel like I'm a walking Sherpa duvet okay I feel like I'm an actual walking duvet and the hood oh my god the hood is just insane Where's my... oh, oh, oh. look at my little snoody oh it's so cozy. It's so thick. Oh, you, you've got it a bit. I literally don't need any clothes. Yeah, I've got it over pajamas, oh, oh, right, but I don't right. need to. Oh my god, you, you're like a little bit of. Time. I could be naked under this. You, you have been. I could be naked. Oh, I oh. think it would feel very nice against my skin because it's like teddy bear vibes. Oh well, uh, I know. I'm going to be loving life in this. So. <laughs> if you want to keep it, I'll get you it. I'm not sure because it's massive, isn't that great? Oh God, here we go. She's now deciding whether she wants to I keep her snoody or not. Well, if you don't like that snoody, I'll get you another snoody. You definitely need a snoody in your life, Mum. What's that? A bit of fluff. <laughs> so I'm going to put this away get the footage out and start uploading it for monthly favourites and then we need to crack on with baking and I'm feeling like I really want to bake in this but I can't because if I get anything down I'm going to be very very sad so I'm thinking I might just keep my PJs on underneath but put the apron on to protect the PJs but yeah guys if you see this oh my god it's amazing it's actually amazing. Should we see what it looks like with um, the hood up? <laughs> oh my god, I've got too tiny a head, but I love it. I freaking love it. Right, let's get tidying and let's get baking. So I am baking. I have just taken the flapjack out of the oven. So I'm turning the rubbish. This is how it's turned out. You have to leave it to fully cool. I mean, the cherries are a little bit charred and the sultanas, but we're going to go with it. But I we can have it with some baby's cream. If you yeah. want to. She's <laughs> excited. Could you do me a favour and peel me some easy peelers, please? Yes. I hate it because it gets under my nails. Um, I think that I'm going to have a slow bath because monthly favourites is uploading. I can't edit 
the Clementine video until this is done because I like to do it all in one here. So I'm going to snack on a few easy peelers. God knows what we're going to have for dinner because I oh, said I was we're going to do the uh, Yule Logs tomorrow. So that's going to be like a sweet lunch. Maybe we could have a sweet dinner tonight. We could try some of these red velvet brownies and plum and pear. With some cream and all that or, or just the odd We've got some breads and oils. Yeah, all this stuff in the freezer, look. Cheeses. I don't think we've got any stuff in the freezer, have we? Yeah, there's some few obvious in there in the other one. Have we still got any left? I thought I we'd use so. them. Oh, because that one's full of meat, isn't it? We shall see, but for now I'm going to have some easy peelers. Peeling, peeling, peeling. My little old Anne's viewers to feel sure. them. <laughs> I always peel my easy peelers. Yes, because they smell. And they get stuck under my nails. No, but they, they are nice. They're nice and sweet ones. Yeah. Two pound a bag. I mean, I was very shocked when Mum told me in the baking video that those two pound a bag. Yeah. Since when did easy peelers get so blooming expensive? But they're, they're nice. nice. So let's have a little. Yum, one. yum, yum. Scallop shell, king prawn shell, salmon volivon, bread, balsamic vinegar, garlic oil. Oh, today is going to be a good day. I'm now going to input the footage from the baking video once that's done i don't quite know fancy a chew after that i'm not too sure we shall see my phone needs to go on charge though because she dying but yeah let's be productive get tomorrow's second video done and we should be on a winner my lovelies time for me to stuff my face i'll be making plans make you Oh, I like that. I think if you, if you had this for Christmas Day and you were doing nothing with it. Right. Oh, I like that. I'd have to have something on the bottom. Right? Look, I do like the way up. But you should have it as a proper jacket. So, <laughs> <laughs> in a brown or tan. So it has somehow turned into 10 to 11. We've watched Vlogmases, we've watched some hauls, we've watched Newcastle vlog. We've had a laugh <laughs> watching the vlogs. And mum's uh, been all caught up to date with my life because the thing is, mum don't actually watch the vlogs when they go up. So she just is in the filming of them, but she never actually sees like the finished product. We've had a good laugh, haven't we? She didn't see the Newcastle vlog and she's seen all the Newcastle vlog now. You didn't really see it. took her ages to see the holiday vlogs. We had to do them one a night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think we're going to go to bed now. Bed advice. Yeah. And tomorrow, Yule Log Day. Tomorrow. Actually, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow starts the new vlog. This is the end of the Tuesday vlog. This is the end of Christmas Part 1 vlog. Right. The next vlog, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's our last vlog of Vlogmas. Can you believe five weeks is done and dusted like that? Good, yeah. Well, well, well not Saturday. Saturday's New Year's Eve. You don't do it then. No, I might do a little vlog for New Year's Eve, but that might be a separate one. And so we don't really do much, do we? We just chill, have some food, a bit of drink. See the New Year in, innit? If I can be bothered. I can't remember the last time I was actually awake for New but Year's Eve. But when I was younger viewers, we used to uh, bang the pots and pans and run out the front and go in the back and all that, but they don't do that now. <sighs> no, so, no. if you did enjoy this video, the Christmas vlog, let us know down below. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And as I say, hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Yeah. And what was your best part from this vlog? Take care, stay safe as always, and you'll see part two at 6pm, the Bye. last part of Vlogmas. Bye. Bye.